welcome back to the channel welcome back to serenity now the tropical park i'm building right in front of your eyes um so last we left you um there's been quite some updates the park as you can see is still kind of on the empty side um <laughs> the guests just aren't coming um kind of just like the subscribers aren't coming so if you could uh please subscribe to my channel it really helps out um, but yeah, getting over here, we have the new land coming. It looks like they cleared out a whole bunch of trees and they started working on a second hole. I have no idea why there's another hole. <laughs> they have this first big hole over here. They still didn't clear out the helicopter crash, um, and, the, the bulldozer damage, but I guess they're starting to work on a second hole for... What reason? I have no idea. Um, Alright, so let's go back this way. I heard there was something going on backstage, so let's go take a look. There we go, we'll just walk through these doors. And everyone's sick. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright, yeah, so we hired someone new. Here is Magic Mike 69 um, You might remember him from the Castle Park Spotlight I did. He actually has a YouTube channel, and he just put out an incredible video that uh, you gotta go see. He said it. I inspired him with this park, and he made a five-minute video that is just fantastic. It tells quite the story, and I'll leave the link below, and just go check out his video, and please go subscribe to him. He makes such great content as well. Um, uh, getting back here, what is this? Oh, 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 so it looks like we're getting uh, some hippos. Looks like we got a big hippo delivery coming in. Yeah, some more hippos. There's going to be a lot of hippos. What was that, four hippos? So I guess they're putting some hippos in on the ride. More hippos? All right, so there's a lot more hippos. Uh, looks like we got a new sign. It says, to the back of the park. To the back of park. To the back of park. Um, I made this, like, uh, I guess official... I should probably make this a little wider. <laughs> All right, so we'll make it a little wider, um, but it's like an official kind of like pass through of the mountain and stuff like that. Um, and it goes to the other side. Uh, it, it travels along inside this mountain here. Um, of course, is the one I made. And it comes out down here. So this one's a little bit wider. So I'm, I'm, maybe I'll make the other one a lot wider. Um, uh, here's um, the Jones Purifier 2000. That's for the Jungle Cruise ride or the Temple of Scrooge. Um, and then getting back here, it looks like we have a new area. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, we're all sick again. Um, looks like Craig Moss and his guys, they're in here somewhere. There they are. There's Craig. Uh, looks like they're building a new building. I don't know what this building is, but it looks tremendous. So they're getting to work on that. Maybe we'll see that in the next one. Um, I guess this is just going to be a storage for some bigger vehicles. So here's MB-72's tank from the Halloween special. And here's um, here's Lyric's uh, delivery Halloween truck that went on fire. Uh, I guess we put out the fire and now it's just going to sit back here for a while. Um, getting back to it, uh, I guess we could look over here. So it looks like... Um, it looks like I am possible 13, the trigger magician. Oh, let me get the sun on it. The trigger magician, he's back. So maybe this is where the um, hippos are going to be. Um, I, I guess since he's here, this is this is what he does. He does triggers and stuff. So this ride's going to need a whole bunch more triggers. Um, it looks like Malo 04, I guess, got a lot of this pathway done. So it looks like he now made a path all the way around the park. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the exact size of the park. We, I might have to make this a little bit wider and knock some of this mountain down um, for the third land that'll be right here. Um, but you can see the second land's right there, and there's going to be a, a you know a, a a way to get all the way around this park here. Got another little sign to back of park, um, and this leads up this area. Uh, will lead up to this side of backstage. So we got this side over here. If you don't remember, this is 
This is the janitor's uh, little um, uh, <laughs> their their break room and stuff. And then you got uh, Kingman over here. He's the mechanic. Uh, here he's the um, you know for all the rides and stuff like that he's the boss of that and I'm guessing that's a way to get from you know one side of the park to the other side of the park uh, again it might change depending on you know how big I make it and stuff like that so um, you know I won't know till I, I make this uh, last land uh, coming over here I know last episode I showed you on this mountain over here that I made and a lot of people complimented me on it because they thought it was in game but I decided to cover up some of that with that darker mountain in the back. Um, as you can see here, I just thought this area needed a little more backdrop and stuff like that. So um, I made this dark mountain right here. And I think from like the queue line and from the actual, um, you know, uh, inside the place, I think this just looks awesome from here. Um, you know, and again on the, the ride queue. You know, it just gives a really good look, and it really makes you feel immersed in this huge jungle again. Um, you know, again, look, let me, let me get back to this bridge. So, like, if you're here, if you're a guest from the bridge, you know, you could still see that mountain that I made, but now you got, like, this this whole new, um, like, view of, like, this, this, I guess, tropical mountain. I don't even know what to call it, but... You know, you got that darker mountain right there, and I just love this, like, uh, this view from here. You could see Tropical Storm, uh, and then you got this this ride, which I can't re What the hell did I call this? I don't even remember what I called this ride. Ocean Breeze. So, yeah, so it's Ocean Breeze. Um, so, yeah, um, looks like they knocked this wall out here. Um, I don't know what they're planning on doing over here as well so hopefully we'll get to see that in the next update um and anything else oh yeah there's one more thing so um the my buddy who works in this park Jan bk 1608 he did a park called park sale blue that was his first finish park and you could also check out his youtube channel he does amazing content he's got like a park going on right now called simple park um, which is really cool. And one thing he did in Park Sale Blue is he had only one red maple in his whole entire park. Because um, he had like a little scavenger hunt to find, um, uh, what is it, crows and stuff. So I decided to pay homage to his park, Park Sale Blue. And I have one red maple that will be the only one in this whole park. And it sits right here on this ride. Um, I know he's a big Disney fan, and I feel like he really did like this ride, so, uh, what way and to honor him and, I guess, like, have his little tree hang out in this ride, um, you know, forever and stuff like that, so, it's, you know, a little, little, uh, nod to a couple of my friends here and there, whatever I could do. So, I guess we will, I think that's it right now, so, yeah, so... I guess we'll leave it right here, um, and we'll come back to the update exactly here. All right. All right, poof, we're back with update number two. Um, starting out right here, we could see the jungle on this side um, got a lot more fuller. It's not completely done because, you know, I still haven't finished this walkway and stuff like that, but it's done for at least uh the on look of the ride i guess you would say um you know when you're on the ride it actually looks uh rather done uh again i just love the way everything looks um it, it's good to have pride in your park i guess uh i'm very happy with what i build um getting over here it looks like uh they did not get to whatever it is they're doing over here so Hopefully by next episode we'll see and have an idea of what's going on over here. Um, I don't think there's anything new over here. Again, you can see the low attendance. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to do something to raise some of the attendance around here because it is not looking good. Um, oh, I think they actually did something over here. Um, so it looks like they extended the hole so now the hole's going this way so um i don't know what they're doing but now they're making a hole this way and then there's a hole right here so i, I don't know i have no, no idea what they're doing so 
hopefully they'll get that done and maybe, uh, you know, uh, a little bit further on so we could actually tell what's going on. Um, I don't think anything back here happened. No, it looks like a truck is leaving. Um, ba -ba -bum. Nothing going on over here. Again, if you want to work here, leave a comment below. Um, still looking for a whole bunch of vendors and stuff like that. So if you want a job and you want to work in Serenity now, please leave a comment below. And while you're at it, leave a like and maybe subscribe. <laughs> um, so again, over here, I moved this Tiki head. So the Tiki head was over there where that boat is. So I moved it over here. Now coming this way, so like I said, we did this jungle area, so this is all done. This looks really nice. Um, I like, you know, like here, um, you got like the view of, um, you know, just a little cutout so you can see that bridge. Again, that bridge isn't even done or close to it, so the bridge is going to look a lot different, and I think I'm going to make it like really cool looking, so um, it'll be a nice sight to look this way, and you can see, you know, the pirate ship, and you can see the Ferris wheel from here. Um, I guess if you look back, you could see ocean breeze and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. Like, again, I, I like being immersed on the ride. Like, this is all going to get done and stuff like that. We'll, we'll watch that boat. <laughs> so, um, you know, I I'm just liking how it's looking so far. But I just do like the little touches, you know, going by like this. And then, like, you know, the people who are walking on that bridge can see the boat. So, you know, they'll get excited to go on this ride. Um, so coming over here, it looks like the hippo area is completely done. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, so they have their nice little beach, uh, around here. We got a whole bunch of hippos hanging out on the beach. Uh, we got a couple in the water over here. Um, I think there is a trigger coming up, so I think I'll leave it right, right around. I don't, I, there it is. So this guy jumps out when this boat gets here. Um, and then there is another trigger when this boat stops. So when this boat stops... Uh oh, that guy's coming. He's... he's making his way. <laughs> and then the boat starts going again. So we got like a little hippo attack that comes out of the corner and stuff. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Um, I, um, you can see there's water that comes up before he comes up as well. Um, I have all the boats now completely spaced out. I put, uh, people on the ride to actually test out, um, you know, the spacing and stuff like that. So, uh, if you think they're a little close right now, don't worry. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before. So to slow down the boats leaving, uh, the dock, cause even with the, ex like the, the, the most time, they still run too close. So what I did is, um, this is the exit right here. So normally I would have the exit, you know, really quick and, you know, right here and then they're out. So the ride won't go until the people make their way all the way down here and then clear this, um, the exit way. So once they clear this exit way, all of them, and then it closes, then the people can actually board the boat. And then once the boat's full, then it'll start going. So that actually helps spacing out the boats as well. Um, you could do that with coasters as well. So if you want the coasters to run faster, um, make the exit a lot closer to where they get off. Um, that I made further away just because, you know, I wanted to space the boats out more. Um, getting over here, you know, I just added some roots coming off the rocks and stuff like that. And just a lot of different foliage. So, you, you know, you can't actually see anything outside, you know, of this ride. Um... Over here, I haven't done anything yet. It'll just be some more, you know, trees and stuff, like a, a, a thick jungle and stuff like that, so you can't see it. And then here's a preview of the next area. So I guess we'll have, like, some kind of, like, tribal headhunter kind of area. I'll probably put, like, skulls and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I guess this was, like, you know, people that were coming on the journey and, you know, the headhunters didn't approve them being on their, uh, you know, waterway. So this is what they did to, you know, the other people that were trying to get here. Um, and then one other thing. So I added this. Again, we're going to go underneath that mountain. This mountain that we built, this is what we're going inside. So I am guess I'm going to call it like Skull Mountain or something. Yeah, I know. Real original. Skull Mountain. 
I don't know, but um, you know, I figured we're going like through Skull Mountain and stuff, so I just decided to add this rock with some fire and you know, then I'll have to do something in here. I kind of have an idea, but I don't know if I want to do it just yet. Because uh, right now we got the counter at like 60%. And I still haven't done anything inside the temple yet. So the temple is going to have, you know, a complete show scene and stuff in here as well. Um, so that's going to take a little bit more of the counter up. But, um, you know, I might do something inside the Skull Mountain, I guess, uh, we would call it. Um, so getting back here, I think this is, yeah, this is, the trucks were leaving. So these trucks, uh, they brought um, all us, the, the hippos and stuff like that. And here is this building that Craig Moss and the gang built. And here is a big mechanic building. So one of my good buddies... Um, he asked me to work in the park a long time ago and when he told me he was a mechanic in real life i said you know what i got a perfect job for you so sean bradley this is your mechanics place um here's sean right here and here's his office um here's i guess like a break room as well for like you know the mechanics um you know they have their little computer desks and stuff like that um, little AC thing. He's got like a whole uh, window to to overlook all the the work being done. You know, we got some of these uh, big AC units up here. Um, everything in here is not complete yet, but you know, I just got some like computers for I guess diagnostics or something like that. Here's a whole bunch of tires, um, and then I guess this would be some oil drums and stuff like that. And um, right now, with Craig Moss and the gr and his group are uh, doing i think we're gonna put in some uh like lifts so there's gonna be a couple of lifts and i made these garage doors really big you know because this will end up servicing like you know the bulldozers and the big trucks and stuff like that so they need to get through here even the crane you know the the excavator needs to get through here so that's why i made these doors and um i've seen like um like garbage companies where they had their um um I guess mechanic bay where they would drive in one way and then they could just drive out the other way and keep going uh, so they wouldn't have to go in reverse and stuff and get out. So that's why I made the doors on the backside as well. Um, everything over here is not finished, but just got a little garbage area over here. Got the generators. We're going to have to put like a safety fence and stuff around that. So I think that's what they're doing. And then we just got, you know, some extra things for, I guess, like some parts and stuff. Um, you know, uh, for all the, the trucks and maintenance vehicles. Um, so it looks like, um, yeah, it looks like uh, I Am Possible 13 is leaving. All these trucks with the the, um, the hippos are leaving. Uh, what? <laughs> this guy again? Uh, all right, there's no security back here. So we're, we're going to need some type of like security booth or something back here. Uh, especially because we got just weirdos just <laughs> lurking around the area. But um, getting on top of this building, I added another one of these uh, air conditioning units and stuff like that. So again, everything's kind of very realistic and I'm trying to do what I can. Um, I think this will be like back here. I might make uh, like, you know, I figure when this, this park's done, I'm still going to have the bulldozers and excavators and stuff. So... They're going to need a place to park, so I might do it back there, or I might actually make this area uh, maybe a little bit bigger for those trucks and stuff like that to park. Um, but I think I think that's it, right? Yeah, I believe that's it. I feel like that's not it. <laughs> no, I definitely, that might be it. So, um, yeah, we're coming to the end. Again, um, if you guys can please... Uh, leave me a, um, a subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out. Um, I'd really like to get to 500 subscribers soon. Um, please leave a like and a comment. Again, if you need a job and you want to work here, please leave a comment below. Tell me what you want to do. We need a whole bunch of vendors, and I think we need one security guard. So uh, let me know. And I guess I'll just end this on like a really quick uh, cinematography. And uh, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next one. All right. Adios.